Alright guys, in the previous video we have learned about how to get documents. In this video we are gonna learn how to create new documents. I'm gonna close these files. We're gonna use this form to add new data. We need to open up the add form component. We have this handle submit function which will be run when we will click on this add product button. So if I type something like mango, then I will give some price and let's open up the dev tool. Let's click on add. So we want to create a document with this data. We need to import few things from Firebase Firestore. We need the collection method, add doc method and the timestamp for adding dates to our product data. So in the handle submit function, I will delete the console log. Let's create a collection reference. So const call ref and let's call collection and let's pass db. I guess I haven't imported that. So let's import that. Import db from dot dot slash firebase slash config. And now let's go to the collection then we have to pass the collection name which is products and now we need to call the add doc function so await because it is asynchronous so add doc we have to pass the collection reference then we have to pass the data which is form input so let's see if it works or not so let's click on add product Okay, so we don't see any error. Let's go to the console. And this is our brand new document. Name mango, price 10 and total is 20. Let's add another one. Apple. Price is 130. And let's click on add product. And now we have six document. Uh, this is the one maybe. No, it isn't. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so here is our newly created document and now I want to add a date property to the document. So I will delete this one. To delete a document, click on this and let's click delete document and start delete. Okay, so our document is deleted. I want to add a date property. For that, I need to use this timestamp object. So inside this form input state, I'm going to add another property date. We need to call the from date method from the timestamp object and as an argument we need to pass a data object so we have created a new data object so let's see if it works or not let's add a new product apple let's click on add product okay so we don't have any error again we have six product uh, let's see which one we have created Okay, so this one is our new document. It has a date property. Alright, so this is how you can create a new document in the Firestore database. So that's it for today. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to delete a document. Alright, so stay safe. Goodbye.